Did you know that it is possible to detect traffic accidents from distant control rooms using roadside infrastructure? That doctors can monitor cardiac patients via specialized mobile apps? Or were you aware that the Delhi Metro train you may have travelled in was perhaps the driverless automated train introduced in 2020? Well, the operation of these technologies is based on the emerging field of Cyber Physical Systems or CPS. In turn, it is part of the fourth industrial revolution which builds on the digital revolution and applies various disruptive technologies like cloud computing technology, big data analytics, human-machine interaction, robotics and automation to advanced engineering and manufacturing. In essence, cyber physical systems are based on the convergence of the physical infrastructure and the cyber sphere. It utilizes engineering models and automated systems from diverse fields like mechanical, environmental, civil, electrical, biomedical, healthcare, defense, agriculture, chemical, aeronautical, and industrial engineering with the models and methods of computer science. So, by leveraging a combination of machines, sensory devices, embedded computational intelligence and communication mechanisms, CPS monitors and utilizes physical elements with computer-based algorithms tied to the internet to accomplish complex tasks. Given India's focus on leveraging science and technology to spur economic growth and development across the country, the Union Cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi launched the National Mission on Interdisciplinary Cyber-Physical Systems or NMICPS in 2018 with an outlay of rupees 3,660 crores. To accomplish this mission, the Nodal Coordinating Agency, the Department of Science and Technology, has established 25 technology innovation hubs in the leading academic and research and development institutes of the country and internationally. These hubs are assigned advanced technology verticals including robotics, artificial intelligence, data analytics, autonomous navigation, quantum technology among others. At these institutes, teams of dedicated scientists collaborate with other national academic and research institutions of excellence to carry out major research programs in their assigned technology vertical. The mission is spearheaded by a mission governing board, a scientific advisory committee and an inter-ministerial coordination committee for the program's overall review, guidance and support. The mandate of the mission includes fomenting linkages with research institutes and labs in India and internationally. Collaborations between the scientists are also being undertaken with the public and private sector to deliver commercial technologies and products. The mission also works with various ministries and departments of the government to identify their technology needs and to develop solutions and technical support for these requirements. The National Mission on Interdisciplinary Cyber-Physical Systems is being implemented under four major categories – Technology Development, Entrepreneurship Development, Human Resource Development and International Collaborations. The initial results are indeed impressive. Across the 25 technology innovation hubs, 512 technology products, and 276 new technologies have been developed. 250 startups and spin off companies have been incubated, generating 8,000 jobs, 96 international collaborations, and 727 publications. IPRs and other intellectual activities have been undertaken. With top order skill development and important focus, 25,000 individuals have been trained through the skill development programs. The Pan India 
NMICPS program aspires to scale up scientific and industrial R&D for making India a leading player in cyber physical technologies benefiting the industry as well as the social sector.